but we're down good fold. Again, what mining history? Well, we've got the rear bore chapel here, which was a particular Baptist chapel. What's that got to do with coal mining, especially in Goodshire Fold? Let's go in and I'll show you. So we've got the date stone, 1852. And it's this family that really we want to talk about. But I'm going to go and have to check my family trees to make sure this is the right stone. It's the Hudson family. And they were a big driving force behind the Rehoboth Chapel. And certainly there were particular Baptists in this area. But who were they? Well, they came off New Lathe Farm. And what? And as per usual, the different generations had the same name. But they're a fantastically interesting family. One of the Hudsons went to Preston during the Jacobite Rebellion and got his... He lost his clogs, well he lost his shoes actually, to a Highlander who uh, basically, let's say he gave them him because discretion was a better part of valour. And the Hudsons, as I said, lived on New Lathe and they were a big musical family, they loved music. In fact, the, uh, the diarist, um, Moses Heap, talks about going up to New Lathe and one of the daughters playing the piano in one room and then going across to the other side and the young George Hudson who became a professor of music he was playing the piano at the other side of the house so it was a place full of music and that's where they used to worship actually until this place was built well I'd like to thank the present owners of the chapel uh, they certainly keep the graveyard immaculate but also they give us a brew some nice cake as well so we can have our cake and eat it this time Now, young Richard worked at the pit, although on, the, on the, one of the census, censuses he just appears as son of a farmer. But the, the Hudsons and the Pickups were intermingled. In fact, Peter Pickup married one of the Hudsons, the Hudson daughter. Who were the Pickups? Well, they went into partnership with Lord Brooks, Lord Crosher, and they had Brooks and Pickups collieries. And one of the pits that they had was up on the top of Hamilton Hill where the radio masts are. And they've been up there, Peter Pickup have been up there since the 1820s. Again, the Pickups, all the names run in the family. Now, Richard Hudson worked up at uh, Coppola and he became the colliery manager there. And he actually lived around about, the, I think it's on the 1861 census, he was actually living next to the Rehoboth Chapel. And him and his father quarried the stone out of their own quarry to build this chapel. Now, the Hudsons, as I said, were very musical. Uh, and Richard actually packed in the mining industry to go and pursue his musical career. But after leaving Coppola, the young Richard, then he went across to the Townley Collieries. He was manager there at Boggart Brig. Then by 1869, he was working for the Hargreavers at Baxenden. Now, remember, they were particular Baptists. They were very, very strict, incredibly strict. And Richard actually caused a strike up at Baxenden Colliery. On, when you look into it, it was because of his, his views on things. He was very particular on things. So he was certainly a man of principles. Anyway, Rehoboth Chapel, that's where you've got your coal mining uh, history in Gutcher Fold.